Copilot in Microsoft Teams meetings is a fantastic way to boost engagement and get more value from your meeting. Treating Copilot like an additional party or additional person in the meeting and asking them questions like how to get more out of the meeting, what questions should be asked, what are people most excited or uh, concerned about from the meeting, all of this is going to be really useful for Copilot to be another pair of eyes over your meeting. So let's take a look. So this is, again, just a rough example. I've already set up a Teams meeting and I've done a little bit of kind of talking to the Teams meeting just as a dummy test run. Essentially, I'm simulating that this is a SharePoint workshop. And what I've done um, is I've basically said, my name's Dougie, I'm the SharePoint consultant. I have with me uh, Jane Smith, uh, I have with me um, Joe Bloggs and their roles, what they're excited about for the project. We talked a bit about the project, but literally I only talked for about two minutes, something like that, just to try and simulate that this is a test meeting. Now, you will notice that I have my microphone across the top turned off at this point in time because I'm actually trying to record through a different microphone um, to record this particular video. So occasionally it will pop up and say that it can't hear me and things like that because technically the Teams meeting can't. And actually, interestingly, the reason why I do this is because I've done test materials in the past before where Teams has actually overheard me say that this is just a test or it's a dummy run or things like that. And then when I've tried to use Copilot to generate responses, it's factored that in. It's actually, it's realized that actually it's a test run and it's put into the, 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 the answer and say, we know this was just a test run and, and blah, blah, blah. So I've tried to simulate it as best I can, but let's see what, what, what it comes out with. Copilot is pretty smart. So the first thing that I wanted to take a look at, well, I, I should probably say, we're gonna treat Copilot like it's another member of, of the team in this meeting and ask it for kind of its, its own thoughts uh, on the meeting. Um, we can also ask it questions like to try and help re-engage the meeting in some way, shape or form. Now to spin Copilot up in this meeting, all I need to do is click on Copilot now, what will be the case is it will need to start the transcript uh, to use Copilot. Um, so you need to make sure you click on that start button. And then when it says what language is everyone speaking, we're just going to click on confirm. So remember, we're, we're pretending we're simulating a SharePoint workshop here. So the first question that I'm going to ask Copilot um, is going to be related to gathering requirements in the workshop. Now, bit sort of blue peter style here here's a prompt that i made earlier i'm just going to copy and paste that into um copilot and ask it so the question is what questions have not been asked yet to to gather requirements about sharepoint now the cool thing that i like about this is actually it's aware of everything that's been said in the meeting so far um we could get this to be even more kind of refined because actually you can tell copilot and get it into the right frame of mind by saying things like take the role of an advanced SharePoint consultant and and that might then change its kind of outcome and what it's thinking and, and the types of questions it's asking. But you can see here now it said, based on the meeting content so far, the following questions have not been asked yet to gather requirements about SharePoint. So what specific functionalities or features do different departments need from SharePoint? Are there any existing systems or tools that need to be integrated with the new SharePoint internet? In fact, that's a fantastic question. Um, actually, I, I knew it was gonna come up with some of these like, low level kind of uh, questions about departments or things like that but actually integrating existing systems very good question to ask um what are the security and access control requirements of different types of content so in this dummy workshop i've not yet talked about permissions or anything like that so that's essentially what that's referring to how will the content be managed and updated who will be responsible for it again fantastic question there because we do want to know who are going to be our sharepoint site owners who's going to take responsibility for the content and things like that what are the performance and scalability requirements for the SharePoint intranet? Um, are there any specific compliance or regulatory uh, requirements? What is the timeline? Again, fantastic question here. What is the timeline for the project on any critical deadlines? So knowing that and making sure working around people's um, holidays and things like that and whatever is really useful. What are the key metrics for success? So again, knowing the kind of being able to calculate the return on investment of why we're even doing this project. Um, it, it's fundamental to know what the key metrics of success would be. So I'm really happy with those questions. I think they're fantastic questions. As I say, I've only really given a, a rough kind of 
sample of a meeting essentially inside of Copilot, but those are fantastic questions. Um, and you can see actually here, um, we can do things like asking to recap the meeting so far, we can list action items, there's plenty of other things that we can we can do with Copilot that's prompting us straight away um, itself to do. We could try and use Copilot to re-engage a meeting. So we've all been in meetings before, and sometimes even these like workshops, quite often workshops can, can be two, three, four hours, something like that, and they can be long-winded. And if you're not taking proper breaks, you can definitely find that people get fatigued and they start to kind of get disengaged. So we could ask Copilot, for example, to um, to ask us, like, what other questions could I ask to re-engage everyone back into the meeting? So there's some more questions that we could maybe ask, maybe pick on some people in the room. Now, as I said before, um, I, I've already sort of told sort of the meeting team that the team's meeting who is in the room with me and their roles and things like that. So it's asked, it's actually given me here to say to re-engage everyone back into the meeting, you could consider asking the following questions. So Jane, could you elaborate on the specific branding elements you want to see in the SharePoint intranet? So there we go. So if Jane was sort of flagging a little bit, falling asleep, I could specifically pick on her and say, Jane, can you tell us more about the branding elements? We've not quite discussed all, all those bits yet. Or Joe, as in Joe Blogs, the operations manager, can you provide more details on the types of templates you envisage to be the manager's toolbox? So you could sort of drill into those questions a little bit, bit little bit more. Um, what are some potential challenges you foresee with the training and adoption strategy and how can we address them? Um, how do you think the new video articles from the senior leadership team will impact internal communication? Can we discuss the key features that should be prioritized for sh the in initial launch of the SharePoint intranet? So as a SharePoint consultant, I'm often very um, aware that I can be the one that's speaking in, in the meeting or in the room for a long period of time. It could be that I barely took a breath for an hour. But the thing is with that is then you do find that people start getting disengaged and the, the, they're sort of not, not properly in the room. So actually putting it back on to the, the other person to say, okay, now you talk back to me. Here's some questions. You talk back to me. You give me more information. We'll re-engage people back into that and you'll get a much better experience from uh, the team's meeting in general. And then a final example here. This is something that's really useful for consultants. So now wearing the hat of the consultant or anyone who's gathering requirements, a business analyst or anybody like that. Once you've completed your meeting, there's quite often you're going to need to get some notes. Now, there is a kind of element to Teams where you can get the notes out of the meeting. So if it's been transcribed, Copilot can give you the notes, the actions and things like that afterwards. But if you wanted to be more specific, so as a consultant, I often want to know the, the two ends of the extreme of what my customers are most excited about for that project but also what they're most concerned about because the most excited stuff, we really want to lean into it, make it top priority. These are the things we're definitely going to be doing and blah, 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 blah. The concerns we need to mitigate. So to ensure that we've got a successful project and, and more than anything, to be able to get buy-in to sell the, the, the overall project, we need to make sure that all the concerns have been squashed out and we, we address them, we mitigate them um, and, and we have a plan in place for them. So what I do in my kind of, workshop reports my follow-ups is that i will include in it to say um here's all here's a stakeholder table here's everybody their name their job title um uh and things like that along with a column for things like what they're most excited about another column for what they're most concerned about so we can make sure we address that properly in the workshop report so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste in a prompt, which actually I think I could refine a little bit more, to be totally honest. I said, create a table of all the stakeholders. Um, what I'm going to do is actually say, include their names and job titles. Um, and then what are they most excited about and what are they most concerned about? So the cool thing about Copilot is it can create tables for you of information based on what's just been kind of discussed. Now, this is pretty difficult to kind of see this table like this. So I would typically copy this out and then I'd put it into a Word document or OneNote or something like that. So I just open a Word document. I'll just paste that table into here so it's much easier to read. But now you can see, for example, we've got 
the names of the stakeholders who are Jane Smith, Joe Bloggs, Dougie Wood, Jobtail, head of communications, Jobtail, head of operations, Jobtail, chef and consultant. Most excited about modern interface eliminating email newsletters. Most concerned about ensuring the SharePoint internet is on brand with organizations' colors and imagery. So that is bob on exactly what was discussed with Jane Smith. Joe Bloggs, the head of operations, improve navigational structures, something he's most excited about, and the manager's toolbox. He's most concerned about the impact on day to day work and ensuring there's plenty of training and adoption strategies in place. Uh, myself, Doug Wood, as a chef and consultant, I'm most excited about the new areas in the newsfeed for senior leadership team video articles. I'm most concerned about ensuring champions program with trainers, like a trainer trainer approach for better internal support. I mean, that's Bob on. That's exactly what was discussed. It, it was boiled down exactly what they're excited about, they're concerned about. And as a SharePoint consultant, that saved me loads of time and effort actually having to pull through my notes and put something together. Obviously, we could be more detailed than that. We could ask it to write out more about the kind of requirements, individual requirements from individual people in the meeting room and things like that. Maybe pull out things which people are um, sort of conflicted about. So one person had one belief, one person had another belief. There's loads of things that you could pull out from this just because we've recorded the transcript um, inside of our, our meeting inside of Microsoft Teams. So I hope you found that really useful um, uh, in terms of the, the, how we can engage people more using Copilot in our Microsoft Teams meeting.